Welcome, champions, to another exciting Alliance War season. Get ready for more epic showdowns as Ford Loki takes the field after an undefeated season 50. Can we continue our winning streak, or will we face the crushing blow of defeat? Stay tuned, smash that like button, and subscribe for more MCOC action. It's game time, so let's fight. Hello and welcome back. It is war number eight in season 51. I'm bringing in a team of Deathless King Groot, Nimrod, and Nick Fury. I have not used Nick Fury in war in quite some time. I'm going to start off on path five in section one. First fight here is this Weapon X. Now, if you have watched any of my war videos, you know that in a Weapon X fight, at some point, I'm going to get hit. But what we're going to do here is we're going to throw on a Power Start 1. We've got our tech boost on. Plan is to just race to a special 2, drop a special 2. Hopefully it kills him. If not, have enough power back to you know, drop another one right away. So there we go. We get the knockdown to remove the protection. Here he goes. He throws a heavy. And you know what? I'm going to say I did that strategically to gain a little bit more power so I could drop a special 2 right here. You know, the special 2 hits... Pretty hard, it doesn't quite bring him down, but if you notice that last hit did remove the protection. So that was kind of nice. And you know, like I said, right away into another special two. You know, he went unstoppable and blockable. I threw it anyway, and it just kind of worked out. Wasn't very clean, it was kind of ugly there at the end, but I did get out of it with full attack bonus. Okay, next fight up is gonna be this IMIW and I'm going to build off the ugliness that was the end of that Weapon X fight. So in that Weapon X fight, I kind of just completely forgot his mechanic there for a second. In this fight, which you're going to notice here fairly soon, we'll let a couple things go, and it's right here. I forgot completely about the node, the heavy hitter portion of this, which means I can't counter when he throws a heavy. And you know what? I just kind of keep trying it. And, you know, we tried it. We didn't get our um, clarity buff up. So now, you know, he's evading. He's auto-blocking. He's doing everything. You notice there, there was a nice little, you know, auto-block. My luck with champions doing things there, we do a intercept of, you know, his heavy with a special one. And, of course, you can't because he's unstoppable. Here, you know what? We're going to try it again just because we hadn't learned. And, fortunately, that time, I guess the, the timing was a little bit different. So even at this point in the fight, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I can recover. You know, not sure what's going on. I'm not following it. Then I get hit by a heavy. You know, now we're going to do a striker, you know, into a heavy to remove the protection. Maybe I can drop a special two. And I haven't learned my lesson. And I deserve that death. That was a complete brain dead fight. Um... Never once did I realize that he was going unstoppable on his heavies. It wasn't until after the fight that I went, oh yeah, that's got heavy hitter on it. I can't interrupt his heavies, so I've got to intercept. You know, it was just, you know, one of those things that just completely slipped my mind. And during the fight, just like with Weapon X there at the beginning, didn't realize kind of what was going on. You know, wasn't paying enough attention, was really just focusing on other areas and not the, the heavy hitter part. So this fight already started off better. We got a nice parry there at the beginning, so we're able to build our clarity. Here we know he's got heavy hitter, so we've got to go with intercepts, which is fine. You know, that's not a problem. It's a pain, but, you know, we can do it. So he's at a special one. You know, I'd like him to throw it. There we go. So he throws it, you know, got caught there trying to, to dash in after it to see if I could get an opening that way. Didn't quite work out, but that's all right. You know, we're, we're doing okay. Now we'll knock the protection off. And what ends up happening in this fight is it's rather boring to watch probably, but a lot of mistakes are made like right there. You know, just trying to find openings to, to get in, you know, a couple hits. You know, I know people are going to say, hey, just reparry, reparry, it's easy. I am not good at repairing at all. So I've got to look for other openings, you know, little backdraft intercepts, um, you know, using a striker to intercept, you know, using my specials to intercept, you know, whatever I need to do to get it. I'm just not that good at, you know, the repairies enough to trust myself to do it in war. 
I will try it in event quests. I will do it in arena. I will even do it in battlegrounds from time to time. Just don't trust myself enough to do it in war. Um, you know, hindsight, you know, I probably should have. Um, you know, I did have recoils on for this fight simply because I knew even before, you know, the, the first fiasco that was there, it was going to be a long fight and it was going to take a lot of time just because I have to bait heavies and you know, can't counter them like I tried to there. You know, I was just looking for an opening. Maybe I could wait, you know, half a second and get in there. It doesn't work. Um, you know, if you wait too long, you're going to get parried. If you go too early, it's unstoppable. So now we're just trying to figure out, okay, he's at 50% health. I'm about halfway through this fight. You know, at this point, I'm losing the health bar battle. You know, I do have, fortunately, I am using Deathless King Groot, so he is able to, you know, heal up a little bit as we go. There, I got lucky. I'm trying to counter. I'm trying to figure out how am I going to... And there, I had a perfect opening. I parried and really didn't think I was going to be able to do anything. No clarity charge, again. I'm trying to get him to back up a little bit just to give me a little space so I can get an intercept and he's wanting to come in, you know. So there, we finally get an intercept. All right. So we've got him in a good spot here. He's, you know, going to be able to throw a special one. Ah, I hit him and, of course, get to the special two. Not a problem. We'll dex out of it. We're, you know, two minutes left and he's still relatively high in health. He's had protection up the majority of the time. He's at 37% with two minutes left to go. Uh, at this point, I'm thinking, you know, I've got to take risks. I've got to go fast. I've got to hurry this up. He's, you know, awakened. So that last little percentage is going to hurt. And they're trying to go fast. I eat a special one. Now I'm freaking out. I am completely right at this point in this fight saying, how am I going to get out of this fight? How in the world can I do this? You know, don't have clarity. There's a minute 30 left. He's still got 20% health. You know, without the clarity, I can't really hit into him at the end because he's going to have, you know, the armor ups. And, you know, you can't really hit him and do much other than a heavy counter. Um, to top it off, he's got protection up. Um, I can't counter his heavies. We're at a minute 13. And I'm like, oh, great. I'm going to die twice to this guy because I'm not going to be able to get, you know, the protection down. I'm not going to be able to get any hits in. Here we push him below the 15, so now he's gaining power. And I'm like, oh great, you know, this is it. It's over. You know, I just have messed this fight up completely. Um, you know, we're down to 45 seconds and 15% health. I am getting nowhere fast. He's not giving me an opening. Finally gives me an opening. I have some Furies. Let's throw a special one. Oh, we're not out of it yet. Okay. Well, then we just randomly threw a striker trying to hope that we got something. He throws a special one. There's 29 seconds left. I need an intercept. Fortunately, I just took a risk there at a big 25k medium. Gets me out of that fight with just seconds to spare. All right. Took a little breather. Come back. It's time for, you know, the second section. I'm going to be on path seven. First one up is this domino. Going to drop yet some more heals. This was a, a heal intensive war because of my mistakes. And, you know, we're going to use this Nimrod. Kind of the same plan as what we did with Weapon X. It's just a matter of getting to a special two, dropping a special two, and, you know, repeating if necessary. So here we go. You know, we're going to get this fight started. And, you know, we're going to try to get a parry in, or we're just going to take some blocked hits. You know, get whatever opening we can get. You know, we didn't go power start one on this one. You know, I didn't really think it would matter as much on this one. This one, you know, if it took a little bit longer to get to the ramp, it's fine. Domino doesn't have really anything other than getting lucky. Um, that's really going to be a pain to deal with in this fight. So there we go. We get her to a special two. Now we want her to throw a special two. Now we want to get a good parry so we can get a heavy and a knockdown. There we go. Nice. We get it knocked down. Remove the protection. Now we're ready for our special two. And here we go. So we drop a nice, big, juicy special two here. And it does a good chunk of damage. It brings her down to, oh, right about 19%. So at this point, I'm thinking, oh, no problem. You know, we get the protection down. She's below 10%. We just need her to throw a special. All right. We get a couple hits in here. And now... We're going to throw our special. 
And this really, really surprised me. She ended up at 1% health. And now I'm like, okay, well, you know, protection's there, not a big deal. We'll just hit into the protection. She gets lucky. I didn't see it right away. I throw a special one. I take a couple hits and the ugliness continues. I'm down to, you know, 29% health. I'm like, oh my gosh. Am I going to screw this one up as well? Still has protection on. Let's do a heavy. Let's get rid of the protection. How many hits can she take at 1%? There we go. Holy moly. Almost blew another one, but we get out of it. All right, last fight up, and, you know, it's this Void. I don't like fighting Void a whole lot. You know, it's not my favorite fight, but I'm using Nick Fury. Not a problem. I've got my second life. We're going to go in here. If we need to use the second life, great. You know, I did forget one thing, though, surprisingly, in this war. I was running recoils for all the other fights, and I meant to take them off for this one. So guess what happens when I come in here? I've got recoils on. I see it right about now, and I'm like, oh, that's not good. Look at my health chunking down. I'm like, hmm, you know, I don't have time to bait specials. I don't have time to do anything. Um, I thought he was going to be coming in there, so I throw a special one. Uh, once again, just kind of panic mode. I know when I flip over to my second life, um, those recoils are going to disappear, which is okay. But I can't really afford any mistakes once I hit my second life because that safety net is now gone. Um, I'm not worried about the, the hit counter to remove anything at this point. I'm just going as fast as I can. I did kind of play that a little smart there. I slow played it so that my special two would be on the second life, so I'd have the Fury. And, you know, we're just going to go all out hitting them, and there we go. So we did get out of that one. was not clean, but, you know, at least we didn't die again in this war. And fortunately for me, that wraps up my war and all the bonehead moves that I made during it. And the other fortunate part of this is it didn't cost poor Loki the victory. We did manage to pull out this win, which was very, very nice. We improved to five and three on the season. I go to 36 and have my second death of the year. And that's gonna wrap up this video for me. My free to play fights are gonna come up next. Feel free to watch those if you would, but please hit that like, subscribe, and feel free to leave me a comment down below. I do wanna thank you all for watching, and until the next one, take care all.